Hello everyone. I'm Grant. I like to educate people about barefoot rights. I'm a proud member of Barefoot is Legal. Most people think there are laws against going to stores barefoot. There has never been any laws about going barefoot. Isn't it crazy how the whole world wears flip-flops? But the same people somehow get offended if they see your entire foot. People that wear sandals generally want to go barefoot. They would go barefoot if they knew there was no social stigma. The truth is that they would be barefoot if other people went barefoot. Somehow people think that wearing something as thin as three sheets of newspaper held onto your foot by a rubber band is normal. But going barefoot is wrong. When you go barefoot someplace, just act normal. Because you are normal. There are no laws against you not wearing shoes. If someone asks why you have no shoes on, ask them why they do not have a hat on. If someone tells you it is against the health department, show them the Barefoot is Legal website. Make sure you have a copy of your state's health department in your purse or wallet. Or maybe on your phone. The truth is there are no laws from the health department banning customers without shoes on. If a store says you can step on glass, challenge them. If you are in a McGMO, Papa John's Pizza, Popeye's Baskin Robbins, or a UPS store, or a Geico office, and they say you can step on glass, just ask them, what glass products do you sell? If they say something in GMO King about its being dirty, remember they are eating GMO as it is. But most people touch the door with their dirty hands, then their cell phone, and then hand the cashier a $20 bill. They sit down and put french fries and a burger with the same nasty hands without even thinking about washing them. They might even lick the ketchup off the fingers, and then touch the trash can when tossing their garbage. Then they touch the door again. And they probably touched their face and maybe a mask a few times while doing that. There are way more germs on your hands than on your feet. Even if you're barefoot. Honestly when eating fast food, I am more worried about getting food poisoning than I am dropping an onion ring on my foot. Even in stores that sell things with glass. You can hurt your back by carrying something heavy. Stores pack lots of heavy items on top of the frozen food cabinets. How about if a pressure cooker falls and gives you a concussion? What if you are sitting in your chair and bang your head on a desk or on a shelf? What if you cut your finger on a nail or spill hot coffee on your lap? Maybe you bang your knee on a desk or an elbow on a wall? Do they say that is fine because you wore shoes? The fact is we should have the right to dress ourselves as we please. You can wear a hat or no hat. You can rock a tattoo or no tattoo. You can wear pants a dress or have a bald head. You can wear boots, sneakers, flip-flops or barefoot. It is no one else's business for them to talk down to you because you chose to not wear shoes. You have the right to do you. For more information, go to barefootslegal.org and learn a lot more about the barefoot lifestyle. I love barefoot is legal.